I finished off the first of T-Flat's world, and he has a whole bunch of other levels that make up his super T-Flat world, so I'll get to that later. So next up in the queue is Don't Delay 2 by Flare. Three clears. I have played Don't Delay 1, and basically it was a snow level. I think it was a Mario world, where you had 10 seconds to get to the stage. So this looks like exactly the same, except in 3D world. I see spikes. I see a cat. I'm expecting to pounce by the way. So... I did enjoy the first Don't Delay, so let's get right into this one. Oh, okay. Well, that didn't go so well. <laughs> the good news is, all you do is run and pounce. And jump straight up. When Ouija wants to go in the pipe, he'll go in the pipe. <laughs> when he wants to go in the pipe, he'll go in the pipe. But Cat Ouija does not want to go in the pipe right now. I swear I'm pressing up. There we go. Oh, long jump. Okay, I got a long jump that. This looks really straightforward. I don't know what to do about the pipe at the end. Do you climb or can you jump that? Oh, don't do that, Ouija. <laughs> so many deaths here? <laughs> what, do people forget how to pounce? Is the cat? I would not be surprised. Alright, don't long jump there. Just jump in and pounce it. And ideally follow the arrows. Thank you for putting arrows, by the way. Arrows are nice. <laughs> I forgot to jump. Because this is such a short level enough already. The test is more in the execution, not in knowing what to do. Oh, what?! You did this deliberately, didn't you? You, ma you made sure that every single block counted! Oh, man. I'm even trying to think of where I could save time. What the only thing I can think of is jumping lower before you do the pounce and uh, the second pounce. Because I don't trust that the arrow is gonna be on key. I'm a little higher there. I might not make it. Yeah, <laughs> I swear that's it. You gotta be right with that arrow. I'll keep trying. Oh, well, don't do that. When he wants to go in the pipe, Ouija will go in the pipe. That's higher. Of course, the game could... Wow! That was frame perfect too. That was way too low. Alright, the good news is that I, I should be really close to finishing this up quick. Oh, dang. Ooh, can I make that? No, wall. Alright, so you, you, you do need to line up somewhat with the... With the arrow. I still don't trust it. That's still high. Mm. <laughs> Just didn't want to pounce that time. And the thing also to keep in mind is that getting onto that jump right there, as I've been mentioning, that you, you want to have a proper jump height so that you don't waste a lot of time in the air. So, don't do a full hop on that. But, you're not doing a short hop either. It's somewhere in the middle. It's almost a full hop. I bet that's what Slit's testing you on. Either that or he's just really testing how frame perfect this game can be. I 
that, that, that still feels too high. Okay, they get uh, it gave it to me. No problem. Watch them not beat the high score. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try that one more time. Because it's a very quick level. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this time. I want to see something. No, wall. Okay. So yeah, the closer you get to the middle of that arrow, like dead middle of that arrow, the better chance you have. It's still too low. And if you go low, when you're climbing the wall, that's how much time you waste. Almost a second. Oh, is that good? Oh, come on! The jump was perfect! Right, don't long jump, Luigi. That was perfect. Really, game? Oh, I swear. Oh, that's too low. Wowzers. God, it's not the one-up frame perfect right there. But God damn, is it close? Has anyone else ever come into any problems in Mario Maker? Well, not problems, but like just that moment where you thought you beat the stage, but you got a time over at the top like that. I know Flair has made more don't delays, so he's probably tested that theory a bunch of times too. Grant, the first delay didn't feel this cheap. I still ma uh, managed to get a good amount of time. I didn't get the high score, but I had a good amount of time off on that. Okay. Yeah, I alright, I did that pounce late because I was trying to do the, the long jump late. I've also noticed that doing the long jump later on this path makes me go a little bit closer, so maybe that's also key. It's not always just about frame-perfect timings. Or even going late on that conveyor. Don't even bother with the wall jump because the cat climbs too slow compared to your jump. Mm. <laughs> now you know you're too late if you pounce instead of uh, running jump. Long jumping. Oh, you mean to tell me that the one time I got was actually a fluke? I seem to be struggling here. Alright, got it again. Hm. I thought I was high on that jump too. I did feel like I was late on the long jumps. But it's just combining the two. That's really all I can think of. Alrighty. 